regarding the different voices which we hear from civil society. In a democracy, there is a healthy science of criticism for all new technologies as we discussed. A lot of concerns do arise of various kinds. Here we find it is the health and safety concern for, uh, uh, for EMF radiation from civil society. We respect the opinion of this section of society. We would like to have, we have been entering into the dialogue with them. We have taken decisions after giving due importance to their opinions. We will continue to engage. However, as discussed uh, in these forums, we find that on part of the, all the stakeholders, whether it's the government or the telecom service providers, or research academia, or um, uh, health officials, or environmental officials, ministries. There is much scope for improving the, our communication to the public on this aspect. <laughs> Mr. Raycamp has mentioned some of the effective ways of how to communicate with the people in honest, transparent, and cogent manner giving out, building trust and giving out the real facts to explain. The other aspect I would say, the structural aspect, mobile telephony is here to stay. We will continue to use more and more devices which will be using wireless networks. It will permeate all our walks of life. We have to live with it as uh, the medical fraternity has uh, already mentioned here, we have to follow rules. We have to within the permissible limits. We have to have precautions while uh, taking, uh, making use of mobile phones so that exposures are limited. But at the same time, we have to ensure that the development which has taken a phenomenal proportion so far should not diminish its pace. It should gather further momentum so that the living standards of our society improve. 